So I knew Phil before me and Phil worked together on a show called East Belfast Boy. Phil did the music for that and I did the choreography. And then when he had The Strand, he sent me the album and you choose a track. And I chose Elephant in Castle because I thought it was really cinematic. I remember that I was playing with the idea of pitch bends and cellos. I love the, the emotional effect a pitch bend has. I had recordings previously of a, of, of a cello. I collected them into a sampler and layered them, and then you just get a really, a really low, ooh, you know, it's diving, these sounds. All the time I was trying to create music that what was imperfect, that nothing was completely in time or in tune. It's just sort of, there's something almost like an impressionist painting. It's slightly blurry, but you, your brain starts to see or hear different things. I met Una, I think in 2016, 2015, and then basically we started to collaborate since then. The working relationship that we have, I think it's a, it's a, it's a mix between trust and aesthetic. At this stage, basically, we don't have to talk to each other about what we like and what we want to achieve. We just make it. I was looking at this choreographer called Sharon Yal. She had this old solo called In Black, where she performs in this black kind of rubber suit. And Sharon Yal has this very particular way of movement that is very like the liquid gold. It's a thick liquid that she has in her. And I didn't have a clean idea for the, for the film, but I kind of wanted to practice being able to move like her. <laughs> the only reference then I had was Martin Glazer's Under the Skin, when the lady comes out of the black. Basically, she's floating inside of this black space. And then I was coming closer and closer and, then you, and, and completely out of focus from the start. So I kept the focus for like really close up. We really stressed Phil out and was like, no, we need complete black and we need theater lights. And he went to all this trouble in here to make this black and get all the theater lights. And we were looking at it back going, yeah, it's OK. We didn't feel that was strong enough. So we had a break and we tried to explore more about the space. And so while we were busy doing that, Luca opened that door for a certain amount of light and we just saw the red light hanging in the corridor and Luca was like, just go down the stairs backwards slow for me once. And I was like, right, whatever. And then we shot that and we were like, this is way better, let's do this. We went into this idea about like, okay, we can use the actual space so the, the audience will, will feel that we are actually live because we are coming through the door that all the audience is coming and we land at the end where all the audience is going to be. So if you're watching from the perspective of, of an audience, you see the screen over there, but at the back she was coming into the main hall. There was lots of lighting we hired in and there was all this whole plan for the day. And then <laughs> I got down the stairs and she's, she's kind of like sliding down the stairs and she shows me on the, on, the, on the laptop and I'm looking at like this thumbnail of this video and I'm like, this is either crazy or completely genius and incredible. And quickly I started to realize this is amazing. The simplicity that the building had more power than the person in it kind of read stronger in the end than just putting a dancer in the strand. It was like the strands dancing. That's what I wanted out of this. Everybody just trying new things out. It's because me and Luca work together so much that's possible. So every time me and Luca go to a film shoot, I will have it prepped scene by scene what we're doing, where the camera needs to be, lock shot, wide shot, and I'll know choreography, everything, what we're doing. And we always go with that plan and start shooting that plan. And then when we look in the camera with the plan, we go, can we do something else? But you have to come with a blueprint to then um, throw it in the bin. It's about working with interesting people that you trust, that you, you go, you know what, you're really good at what you do. Go and do your thing and just come back with your thing and I'm sure it'll be great.